Yes, we are here in the pleasure groves, the wish-fulfilling forest of Vrindavan, which is known as Kamyavan. The area of Setu Bandha, you know, the Setu Bandha area that we visited today, that area is referred to as Sri Rameshwaram. So that is Rameshwaram Tirtha here in Vrajamandala. So Krishna here at this place, Krishna reenacted the pastime of Lord Ram building a bridge to Lanka. And Krishna, he had the monkeys build a rock bridge for the gopis to go over at this very place. So one time it is said, and how did Krishna build this bridge with rocks with the help of the monkeys? Let's hear the wonderful pastime. So one time the gopis were playing here with Krishna near the Ashok Vatika area. And Krishna, he started playing a beautiful tune on his flute. And hearing Krishna's flute, many monkeys came and they started offering obeisances to Krishna. And seeing this, Lalita said, These monkeys, friendship with Krishna, it reminds me of Lord Ram's friendship with the monkeys. Vishaka, do you remember how we heard that they built a stone bridge to Lanka? Oh, yes, yes, Lalita. Of course, I remember. Lord Ram, he is so great. Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram, Jai Shri Ram. Raghupati Raghava, Raja Ram, Patita Pavana, Sita Ram. Krishna said, I am Ram. I am the son of Maharaj Dasharat. The gopis were laughing. Krishna said, really, really, I am, I'm Ram, believe me. And then hearing this from, the, from Krishna, saying that he is Lord Ram, the gopis lovingly said, <laughs> Krishna, you are Ram, you want us to believe you. Oh, Krishna, stop being funny. You are so funny, Krishna. You know Lord Ram? He lived millions of years ago. And bear in mind, he is the supreme personality of Godhead. And who are you? Lord Ram is Mariada Purushottam. And you are Makhanchor Purushottam. You are stealer of butter. You only know how to steal butter. You are Ram. Chi, come on, Krishna. Didn't you find a better joke for all of us? Come on, how can we believe that you are Lord Ram? I am I'm really Lord Ram, okay? Oh, really? Lalita said, really? Enough, Krishna. If you are really Lord Ram, if you really think that you can do so much nicely as Lord Ram, then let us sh show us how with the, all these monkeys, come on, build a bridge and float that bridge across this lake. Then we'll agree that you are Lord Ram. Aha! The, here you go. And so Krishna, he took his flute and played a tune that melted the hearts of all the monkeys in Kamyavan. They all came forward and these monkeys, they started offering obeisances to Krishna. And the monkey said, Krishna, what can we do for you? And then Krishna said, Yes, yes. You, all of you, collect some stones and bring them to me. Bring them to me. Collect stones and bring them to me. So then all the monkeys, they ran. They brought stones to Krishna. And when they brought the stones to Krishna, Krishna placed his lotus feet on the monkey, on the, on the stones. And he infused his mystic potency into the stones. And then the monkeys were all very bewildered. They were thinking, What's going on? What's going on? Krishna said, you are Neil, you are Null, and you, you are Hanuman, and you, you are Jamwan. Now go, build the bridge. Oh no, the monkey. 
yogis were really shocked. What's wrong with Krishna today? Why is he making us become null and nil? Oh no, oh no. But then as soon as Krishna said that, then the monkeys, they just took the stones on their head and then they started throwing the stones into the lake following the instructions of Krishna and to the amazement of all the gopis. The, when the monkeys, they threw the stones on the lake, they were amazed. The gopis were amazed to see that the stones were floating. They were not sinking. And eventually a beautiful bridge was built. And the monkeys, they, you know, the one Krishna said that he's Hanuman, that monkey said, hey, put this properly, put that properly. We can see it everywhere. Come, come, build the bridge nicely. We, I am Hanuman. I am telling you, you build, build the bridge. And then when Krishna was seeing that the monkeys are so enthusiastically when they are building the bridge. Krishna looked at Lalita with raised eyebrows and he said, now do you believe I am Ram? <laughs> um, because Lalita, she had particularly challenged Krishna. So that's why Krishna said, now do you believe that? Look, look what's happening. Now do you believe that I am Lord Ram and the gopis and Lalita Saki? All of them said, yes, yes, you are Ram. Jai Shri Ram. Jai, Jai Shri Ram. Ram. Jai Krishna Kanaya Lal Ki Jai. So Krishna was enjoying that they recognized him finally as non-different from Ram. <laughs> In fact, our Acharyas, Srila Vishwanath Chakravarti Thakur writes that when we receive applause, we are supposed to bow. So Krishna then bowed down to the lotus feet of Srimati Radharani and he said to the other gopis, if you really believe that I am Ram, I won. Where is my victory garland? And so all the gopis, they went away hither and thither, gathered flowers to make a victory garland for Krishna. After everyone had left, Krishna took Srimati Radharani's hand and the divine couple walked over the stone floating bridge to the other side of the lake. Haribo. In this way, Krishna takes advantage of every little thing, every given opportunity to spend quality time with Srimati Radharani. At the conclusion of this pastime, when the monkeys had wonderfully helped Krishna build a bridge again, Krishna told the monkeys, my dear monkeys, I couldn't give you anything when you helped me build the original bridge to Lanka in my previous incarnation. But this time, I want to reward all of you by feeding you butter from my own hands. Please, please accept this as a token of my gratitude for your selfless services. So our Acharyas, they explain, this is why Krishna would always feed the monkeys butter as a reward for their selfless services when Krishna appeared as Lord Ram. Harivo. Lila Purushottam Shri Krishna Kanaya Lal Ki Jai. Jai. Srimati Radhika Thakurani Ki Jai. So in this way, wonderful, wonderful pastimes were enacted by Sri Krishna and Sri Mati Radharani and the gopis and the, all the devotees. And, you know, when we hear such pastimes, our, our, all our consciousness is just immersed in these beautiful, beautiful narrations of Krishna's divine pastimes. And we float in pools of ecstasy. This is the beauty of Sri Krishna's transcendental pastimes. <laughs>